Hey everybody, welcome to Tabitha Speaks Politics and I am excited. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I am in disbelief, but most of all, I am absolutely giddy. And every single day I watch that number increase more and more to 100,000 subscribers. In all honesty, I never thought that I would reach this goal. So I just put my head down and focused on bringing you all great political content. But now that I see that that goal that I originally thought was unobtainable, it is now within reach. So please, if you've come across this video and are not subscribed to the channel, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I provide political commentary based on political viral news stories. And I bring it to you from the perspective of an educated black woman that lives here in the United States. And me personally, I have a good time doing it. And you will see that reflected in these videos. So again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. Now let's talk about the politics. Now, when I first got wind of this story last night, I quickly bypassed it because I knew that it was a lie. I didn't have to do any research. I didn't have to try to dissect what was being said in this story and this video. I knew it was a lie. This morning, as I'm doing my scrolling, I come across T. Nathan and T. Nathan is doing a video in regards to the same story. He did some wonderful investigative work and found out that the story is a lie. So I try to do some backtracking. I go on over to Twitter to see if I can find the post where this story originated from. And as I'm, as I'm doing that, I'm realizing that this story, this lie of a story is viral. And so here I am, because this story is viral, I'm going to add my voice to the conversation to let you all know that this story has been put out by MAGA nuts, probably abroad, and it is a lie. The story is Kamala Harris hit a 13-year-old girl with a car and then left the crime scene. It's being put out by this KBSF news station out in San Francisco. More on that later. There's actually a video of this young girl, now woman, telling her story. It happened on the evening of June 7th, 2011, when Alicia and her mother were heading home. A car driving the wrong way down a one-way street headed towards the women crossing the road and hit one of them. The event was forever imprinted in Alicia's memory. After 13 years, she finally decided to share the shocking details about the accident and its culprit. Well, it happened on the corner of Post Street and June Street. Me and my mom were walking home from a movie theater. After this the looks like AI. It was getting late and we hurried home because my mom had to wake up early for her work. As I remember, we were crossing the road and out of nowhere, a car came out from behind the park van. We were not expecting this because there is only one way traffic on Post Street. So we were not expecting anyone to drive from that direction. The car was rushing in the opposite lane and my mom reacted quickly and jumped back. She tugged my arm, but she was too late to save me. And the driver also hit the brake, but it was also too late. I was just hit in the side and thrown into the road. I fell the curb and it hit my back. And I remember I was laying on the side of the road watching the woman who hit me. And of course, back then, I didn't know that it's Kamala Harris, California Attorney General. At that <laughs> moment, I just saw a, a frightened stranger woman. And I was laying and looking at her and she was sitting on the wheel looking back at me. I heard my mother screaming and then the woman turned away from me. She started her car and just drove off quickly and I tried to turn my head and I look at my mom but 
That's when the pain overwhelmed me and I just passed out. As a result of the impact, Alicia suffered injuries to her pelvis, ribs, and spine. Over the next three months, the girl had to undergo 11 surgeries. Despite the best efforts of the doctors, she could never walk again. The girl would be confined to a wheelchair for the rest of her days. Well, I don't remember those days too well. I was at the hospital getting a lot of painkillers, tests, and surgeries, so everything was very, very... I just know that the day after the incident, I saw my mom talking with two men who came at the hospital that were standing outside the room. And when my mom came back to me, I asked her who were those people. She said that the woman who hit me was Kamala Harris, a very powerful woman. And those men were her people. And the lie detector tests show that that story is a lie. Now, if you've seen T. Nathan's video, he has impeccable investigative skills. He was able to find the IP address to this so-called news station's website and track that IP address back to domain information and showed us that what looks to be a place outside of this country registered that website like two weeks ago like the middle towards the end of August. I don't have those skills. So I went right on over to Snopes and Snopes told me that that whole story is fake. Mm -hmm. Snopes told me that these claims appear to be part of an effort to mislead the public as KBSF is not a legitimate news outlet. The website was registered on August 20th, 2024. There has never been a KBSF television station in San Francisco or anywhere else in the United States. Snopes reached out to the Harris campaign for comment. The Harris campaign probably won't even give this story any attention. They will not respond to Snopes over this bullshit story. However, Snopes goes on to say prior to September 2024, the only notable search results for KBSF and TV on Google were for content produced for a YouTube channel belonging to the Korea Bobsleigh and Skeleton Federation, KBSF. Now, I said that the person in that video, it looks like AI, but child I ain't no expert. It could be a real person. It could be a real black person that was paid and they accepted the payment to be a tool for white supremacy.